In this problem, we have the same uh, expression that we had for the previous problem. In that one, we just wanted to graph it. Uh, we use the same technique here. Now we want to solve graphically. Before, we just wanted to see what it looked like. And we used this technique here where we factorized it and we found the zeros. Now, to solve graphically, what that means is if you have the graph, you want to solve, which means where is this going to give us values of uh, 0 for y. So solving again means where does this cross the x-axis. So just like we use this factorizing to find where it crosses here, we know right away, just what we did last time, the values here that will give us 0, right? So if we plug in positive 5 here, that will give us 0 for this term, and therefore 0 times 0. Something else is going to be 0. Again, negative 2 here gives us uh, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 0 times something else gives us 0. So our two answers are just these two points where we cross this x-axis at x equals positive 5 and x equals negative 2. So we can also write that as x1 equals 5 and x2 equals negative 2, just to be clear. So those are our two answers, graphically and from factorizing.